Okay, so we're here with uh, Sujal Patel, who is the uh, CEO, and, and you are you a founder of Isilon? Yes. Is that right? All right. So congratulations, first of all, on the acquisition. Thank uh, you very tremendous much. story. I mean, any storage companies left that are independent? I mean, I think they're, they're all. I, I don't they're, think they're there they're are all any. Going, so, uh, <laughs> but uh, I was just listening to your presentation to the uh, to the analyst community. Oh. Thank you for that. Um, I want to talk about big data. Can you talk about what big data means to customers and how things are changing? So. When we look at the definition of big data, we've developed a working definition that is data sets or information that have scaled to the point where because of the amount of data or the need in terms of timeliness or because of the distribution of that data or how it's presented in separate silos, because of one of those reasons or many of those reasons, there's a need for a new storage architecture that can handle it. And so this might be large stores of unstructured data or digital content or media or any sort of, of large data set that requires a new architecture. Okay, so we need a new architecture because the existing architectures can't handle the volumes of data, is that right? Uh, well, it could be either volume or it could be performance, right? There's, there's two major trends that are going on in the data center today. One is that the rate of data growth is far outpacing aerial density increases in disk drives, which means that we have a need for applications to spread out across a lot more hardware than before. That requires a new architecture. Second is that the performance of Intel servers is exceeding Moore's law, and applications are leveraging that with technologies like virtualization and newer applications based on clustered computing. Well, if you've got a scale and a performance level that's beyond what you can do with a traditional architecture, you've got to move to what we call these scale-out architectures today. Now, when you started Isilon, you, um, you, you see, you had said 10% of the data that was out there was 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 uh, uh, unstructured, 90% structured, and now it's almost completely flipped. I think it's 75% is what you said. Yeah. So, so what led you to that conclusion? How did, did you, how did you see that? You know, what was your telescope saying? It's interesting. So you, that's, your numbers are absolutely right. So when we started Isilon, 10% of data was file, 90% was block. That was 2001, but. Five years prior to Isilon, I spent company. I spent uh, five years prior to Isilon, I spent time at a company called Real Networks. They were the pioneer of streaming media on the sure, internet. Right. And what we saw with the growth of media on the internet was the very beginning of what we knew was going to be a giant problem for all enterprises. And that problem played out you know, a little bit faster, a little bit slower, but it played out just about like we thought it would. In 2008, data fl split just about 50-50 file and block. By 2012, it's going to be 80-20 file majority, block minority. And some point near the end of this decade, it's probable that even the storage uh, dollars in terms of revenue will shift predominantly towards file as opposed to block. So what do you think that means in terms of sort of the next wave? Is it now about getting value out of all that data? Is that what big part of what the big data is about? Or is there another sort of disruptive force that you're seeing? Well, you're absolutely right. It is, it is about getting value, right? Why have data if you can't analyze it for business value, if you can't distribute it, if it's media, if you can't distribute it and get entertainment value out of it? What good is it if it doesn't enable new innovations and new products to reach the marketplace? And that's that's really the goal, why customers have this big data. So Jal Patel, you know, blockbuster acquisition in the storage business, you know, congratulations. Thanks for spending some time with uh, Silicon Angle and Wikibon community. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so the that was uh, Sujal Patel from Isilon and uh, and uh, really appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. Thanks.